the Senate resumed plenary at about midday, and senators have a lot on their minds as reflected in the bulky other paper. Before proceeding with the items on the other paper, a motion of urgent national importance is moved by Senator Sumaila Kawo from Kano State on the need to reopen the nation's borders with the Nigeria Republic due to the hardship faced by border communities. Our that the border closure decision on 8 August 2023 has taken by the economic community of West African State as part of the measures put in place to prostrate the military junta. However, the chief whip of the Senate, Senator Ali Ndume, also chief raised two points of order on the procedure of the Senate. Just as a way of, you know, advising the Senate on the way we do things. The Senate president did not consider any of them. Senator Ndume subsequently walked out of the plenary session. The Senate then goes into an executive session. As plenary resumed after about two hours, with Senator Ndume in attendance, the lawmakers considered a motion on the menace of drug abuse in Nigeria, which was raised by Senator Babangida Uba from Jigawa State. Five, direct the NDLE to deepen their engagement and strengthen interagency collaboration with sister security agencies, namely Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, the police, NAFTAC, immigration, and the military, which will foster synergy and effective operational relationship. The Senate then debates the matter, with Senator Ndumi making a contribution during the debate. The issue of drugs, menace, in a society is very dangerous, and it has destroyed many societies. It is hurting the economy of many societies, even countries like America, countries like UK, you do certain things under the influence of drugs. The pharmaceutical shops should be held responsible selling prescription drugs to the younger ones without proper monitoring. This Senate should urge the necessary agencies of government, particularly the federal government of Nigeria, to declare a state of emergency on narcotics abuse in the country. Secondly, that the committees on NDLA, NAVDA, should work with relevant agencies of the federal government to immediately convoke a national summit to discuss the state of narcotics abuse. The Senate has also received a request from President Bola Tinumbu for the screening and confirmation of Ola Ulukoyodi as chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Delia Moyeni. Channels Television News.